here we are at two experts. Uh, looks like we got a lot going on and we get to choose how it goes. So from what I'm looking at, we kind of have two areas to go. One to go down row zero and one to go down row four. All right, so we're gonna need two experts as the title says. Um, and it looks like they're gonna need to work together. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and initialize them. I'm gonna need one for this top row uh, and one for the bottom row. So to initialize it, I'm gonna say, all right, let top expert be capital expert with parentheses behind it. And then we're gonna do the same thing with bottom expert. So let bottom expert equal capital expert with parentheses behind it. Okay, now placing these experts uh, is gonna be kind of important. The, the place where they are, I think, is kind of obvious, um, but the directions are gonna be interesting. So let's take a look at this real quick. Bottom expert, I think, is the easy one, so I'm gonna place my bottom expert first. Misspelled top. I'm going to come up and change that real quick. There we go. All right, so we're going to world.place. And I want place item facing. So I'm going to go to the bottom expert first. Um, and this is row zero. So down here at the bottom is south. Up here is north. To the right is east. So I want my bottom expert facing to the right, which is east at zero, zero. Okay, and then my top expert, I'm gonna write, want them right here at 04, but I'm gonna want them facing that platform, so I want them facing north. Um, so I'm gonna world.place, and well, you could copy and paste and just edit as well. Um, copy and paste our top expert facing north or up on this the way I have my map orientation. And that's at column zero, row four. Okay, and they're gonna have to work together. I'll go ahead and run this to make sure that they end up where I think they are. And it, we should notice that these gems along here randomly pop up. So what I guess I want to do is have this expert collect that gem. This lock needs to be turned up. Um, then we'll need to turn that lock down to get these platforms, the yellow platforms, to go down. And our expert to continue on to the blue lock, which needs to come down. All right, so that's a lot to take care of. Let's go ahead and work on our bottom expert first. Um, this is not going to take a lot of really complicated coding. It's just going to take um, code and the order is going to matter. Um, so I'm coding my bottom expert. So bottom expert dot collect gem because he is on a gem. And then we're gonna have our bottom expert move one, two, three. So dot move with the distance parameter three. Uh, we're then gonna have our bottom expert turn left. Oops, turn left to face the lock. And the bottom extra is going to turn that lock. It needs to go up twice. So turn lock function up true number of times twice. Okay. And then I'm going to have the bottom expert turn right. Bottom expert dot turn right. And let's see where we end up here and make sure that one, we end up this right there at three zero facing right and that this goes to the correct level. Okay, so everybody is where I need them to be, the platform's where we need it to be. Now we need our bottom expert to move and turn the blue lock. So this is where the top expert comes in. Top expert is gonna turn, I think this one just needs to go down once. So we're gonna turn the lock down and that's the only thing our expert needs to do with the lock. So I'm gonna have my top expert go ahead and turn right while I'm thinking about him. 
turn right. All right, now back down to the bottom expert. So I'm gonna get some new lines of code down here. Uh, we need to move one, two, three, and then we're gonna turn a lock again. So bottom expert dot move parameter distance argument three, and then bottom expert dot turn lock down, so turn lock up false, number of times down two. Okay, I'm gonna run this again, and we're gonna make sure everything is lined up for the top expert, so we can just write one while loop and finish this up really easily. There, this one goes, oh, perfect. Everything is lined up for our bottom expert. So, while our bottom expert is not blocked, so we need to go not first, exclamation point, not, top expert dot is blocked. All right, so that will get our expert to walk all the way to the end. You could also do a for loop um, and have the for loop be for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think, one, two, three four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you could do a, a for loop with seven, but I like this one better. Um, if top expert dot is on gem, collect gem, top expert dot, collect gem, uh, then we're just doing this so that we can uh, take into account the fact that there may be one, there may be a few, there may be all there, just if we're on a gym, collect it. Uh, and then top expert dot move forward. Okay. And that will get them to check every space. So with this, I think the biggest distraction or complication could be Typing in bottom expert where you mean top expert or top expert where you need bottom expert. Um, and that can be complicated, but we are doing this. So if we're looking at it, not, not terrible code, not even that difficult. A lot of just coding line by line to get this thing done with one intuitive while loop while we're gone. All right. Well, we will see you on the next one. Love you.